Good day. This video uh, is serving as a memorandum for lab test two. So it was divided into three sections. The first section is the devices. The second section is the variables. The third section is the code. So we're going to troubleshoot uh, everything step by step. Okay. So first thing first, as you can see, we have version 30, uh, 64. So we don't want this one, we want uh, version 15. If you continue with this, you will remember that uh, the version won't correspond with this one, the 13, uh, 15, 40. So this one's uh, the 64 bit and then this is the 32 bit. So it will never work basically. So first thing first you do, you change this and you obviously make a comment on the site. You go to update and you go to the correct version and you update. And then, secondly, you need to uh, now try to download, uh, to, you need to try to download, okay, yes, okay, then you scan. Okay, then let's download. Okay. First, it sees an error there. Okay, then it connects. Okay, let's see. Now, F4, connect. You see, server not available, no connection could be made because the target machine actually refused it. So now your Ethernet mode bus is the one that is creating this problem. It will never connect, all right? So you need to update this. Uh, it's using a, a serial com. Serial com is a, a communication protocol similar to USB so it doesn't work we need the ethernet so you're going to update device go under home and automation or ethernet and then update your device and after that click on the very same device go under okay it doesn't want to allow me to append you can just click on append device and now click its fellow uh, device that could corresponds with it now so now we have the ethernet adapter and we have the modbus tcp slave device all right then you click on uh, close so we've dealt with with connection uh, now so let's come here we see we have so many uh, uh, lines we don't understand what could be the reason so let's continue and download and see if they will disappear. Yes. Okay, they disappear. And come here, connect, then you've connected successfully. Good. So now, come this side again. Let's analyze the variables. What could be wrong on the variables? The Q, Q4. It doesn't have an address similar to this, so Q4 won't be able to activate because of it. Right, so let's deal with Q4. Let's start by moving it there, paste, and give it the same at. You can just copy this. But remember to amend it. Once you copy, you need to always amend four like that. Otherwise, you're gonna use the same address and yeah, you're gonna just regret very early. So that's your CB2. It's complete. Then, if you can also notice there on top, uh, this I, you don't need that I. It doesn't correspond to anything. And then you see here. It says 0 0.8. We don't do a code like this. It, it, if you are using a, a real PLC, it would need to correspond 
with the real addresses so it will never work basically so now it still sees an error so let's close now we've moved from the code we are we moved from the variables we are going to the code now where is the error this is a q4 q4 has an error let's then rewrite it q4 it does not adapt it let's do this okay it's not yet here maybe that's the reason why but if we could save this work and restart it again the q4 will be proper let's just confirm what could be the reason is a q4 added okay maybe this the reason. all right yes that's the reason there so i didn't put my q4 properly there so the error should go away eventually yes it did go away all right so now we've removed all the errors let's see how our code will now work let's see where uh, we're making our mistakes okay there's our machine and and if you come and look at it from this point you'll see that your your front limit your your, your machine it's not sitting normally the way we used to where it facing forward so our front is there our limit our back is here so it will need to turn in that direction so you are allowed to turn it uh, uh, there's absolutely no need to stress yourself you are allowed to turn let's see where is the turn table uh, these are the sensors if you click they will go away and then we deal with only outputs so this functionality there is for outputs only actuators so now we see outputs so you can test it and then and you will see okay okay this is not it's not running this f4 everything is running okay then tap you see how it must go and then 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 the product must come and pass on a negative way you see your your your, your front your forward becomes in the negative you see a lot of people didn't pick up pick that up so your forward becomes your negative then you need to turn off you must put it back to its normality where it says no failure then you say x remove it like that okay so now let's test our program what will happen i see there's a conveyor that is running which is uh, not supposed to have any uh, conveyor belt running let's see on the sensors now let's start the code right see now what needs to happen with this current code okay i don't know what is happened now okay research all right with the current code it's either you stop your q1 when you get here and you turn this unlike you want to do this you see how it works look look now it's dancing so it's not going anywhere this is a problem so now what is contributing to the problem it's a fact that it turned very late okay it turned very late your 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 q2 turned very late first thing first to so say we're going to change the q2 stop now the q2 must run simultaneously with eyes here now all right good and then the load uh, stop and reset let's go you see now what, what happens now right so look it's going back why is it going back what's the sensor that is stopping it what is the sensor that is stopping it? Let's go observe that. The sensor that deactivated Q2. Let's go observe it. You come here, 
is I6. I6 is 90 degrees. So basically what it means is when it gets to limit 90, that's when it, it resets. So where is it supposed to reset? Is it supposed to reset over here? No, it's supposed to reset after it has passed. So now you go back. This becomes I8. Right, then the load. You could even shift the box to avoid issues, okay, or you put it somewhere here to allow it to, to spin. So then okay, let's see. This is you must check the status of your push buttons. Right? Stop and see that one is running by default. Why is it running? That one is running by default. Let's go check it as well. It's I7. Uh, 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 you see, your turntable at zero degrees is the one that is running. And if you come here and check and observe the zero degrees, it's activating that one. You don't want that. But nevertheless, we'll sort out that one uh, just now in a moment. So, start. See what happens? It opens up. So I'm just going to give a helicopter view then now look this is not spinning this is not spinning this is not spinning when when this one diffuser turns on we want to go that direction is it q1 or is it q2 or is it q3 so let's check we want to activate q3 which is negative which is negative activation there ten table negative all right Let's do it. So Q1, turn it to Q3. I3 is the correct sensor, but this one is supposed to be 3. That one is supposed to be 3. Right. So where is it going to reset? You must always be careful. It resets when, when once we get to 90 degrees. That is also a, a problem. So basically, once it phase forward, it means that it's going to reset. You don't want that. You want to reset it at i8 as well so do that i8 okay then download let's see look it, 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 it managed to pass at i8 this needs to stop right it is stopping and then that needs to activate the timer. Why is it not activating the timer? So let's put it back again like this. Stop and leave it there. Look, this is running. It's running because of it's being activated by what? By I7. You see here, it's running. So this is very wrong. But nevertheless, uh, now we want to also t uh, sort out the timer. So you see when we reach I9, we are deactivating. So that is, this come, needs to come there. So this one, who must activate this? It's I5. I5, where is I5? I5, it's your, your bed limit sensor. Because once we turn, the, our 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 bed limit sensor which is this one it's going to be the one at front there and that's when we want to start our that's where we want to start our q4 all right and then the other thing is your turn table this one it deactivates once it when, when it reaches i8 it must deactivate when it reaches here so you can just change that change this one to i5 and then at i5 we started something else then at i9 we don't want to wait there we want to activate the actual timer so the timer's output you see the timer's output here the timer's in it's a signal generated by the latching relay 
Are we clear? So I just want to do something quickly to entice people to understand what we are doing on when I move my timer here like this and I'm gonna be left with memory there so this one's going to be memory one so I'm going to add memory one so you see so now on my memory one then I want to do this M1 so the latching relay activates the memory one so this your memory one becomes your input your m0 becomes your output of the timer and it goes to deactivate there so i am trying to entice people to understand what is happening with uh, structured uh, text or, or on this text here on this code here so let's see if this will work download Okay, then let's see. All right, that is running. It's not supposed to run. Go back. Stop. Everything stops. Nothing is running. You see that? Nothing is running. Right. Then let's start. See now, this is what we want. This is what we want. And that activates that deactivates this is still running they reach there you see they're going back now and then now observe it should pass if it doesn't pass it will be because of the time is very short right so obviously the timer is three seconds three seconds is not enough let's make it a six or a five. Start. You see, this is active. When we reach there. This one will stop, this one will turn on. See? This one is on now. Okay, the rest one is not on, probably because we didn't reset this. But reset and start. Let's see. Okay, then this one needs to deactivate there. And then this one must activate this there. Going. and this needs to deactivate look deactivate and that stopped completely then the timer one two three four and five look it has stopped this is your answer it's a repetition of what we did some weeks ago and you are done thank you so much guys See you when I see you on your last test. Bye-bye.